everyone, and welcome to Splatalot, the medieval gauntlet of gore and goo that stretches contestants to the limit and answers the eternal question, huh? I'm Jason Agnew, alongside mesmerizing Matt Chin, here to guide you through today's action. In round one, our 12 attackers get marinated in the merciless moat. The surviving six are sautéed in the cyclonic stockade in round two. And in round three, things really heat up when the final four are forced to storm the castle and capture the coveted Crown of Splatalot. And let me tell you, Jason, if these attackers think they're just gonna breeze through this course today, they obviously haven't checked the weather. Cloudy with a 90% chance of splat. I think I left my windows open. In round one, attackers battle the baffling barrels before suffering at the slippery slope and the rolling maze so majestic. They must then negotiate the impossible incline. Or the beastly battle axes will make moat meat of them and they do not negotiate. Then it's the rope bridge of disaster and the perilous pole vault to the finished platform. A gift from King Gustav III. He was Swedish. Well, the niceties are about to end because it's time for my favorite part, the Defenders. They'll do anything they can to slow the attackers down. Here's Tinkor, the dementedly inventive weapons master. The brawny barbarian. Scab! And Nitrous with her good night kiss. You can run, but you can't uh, uh, hide! Yeah. With the defenders in place, it's time to race. Up first is Lizzie. I am waterproof! Ha, <laughs> so much for that theory. Lizzie bounds across the baffling barrels. And barrels out of bounds. Let's take another look as she gets a mouthful of moat flow. And comes up smiling. It's an acquired taste. Hey, Lizzie, are you waterproof, huh? I'm attacker-proof! No, you're not. Oh, I am not. I'm... All right, do you like smile? Oh, another direct hit from Scab. She needs to get out of the line of fire. And I guess she does. With a splat. Lizzie, is it cold? Yes. Good! Oh. Whoa, another excellent hit from Scab. That's three in a row. We gotta keep track of those. Hello, Lizzie. Hello. Say hello to Nitrous. Uh, the name is Nitrous. Water on! Wow, you do not want to insult Nitrous like that. She lays into Lizzie with a powerful blast of H2O. No. I'm starting to think this girl is actually waterproof. I bet she thinks that's a fire hose. I bet she thinks that's a fire pole. Oh, then that's appropriate. Lizzie's on the board with a time of 3.33. Up next is Brad. I'm gonna get her done. Did he mean a nose job? Let's rewind and see where this karate orange belt first went red. He was taking heavy fire on the slope. Scab has just been lights out today. Oh, some thought it was that hit. But that just took his sense of smell. You got some stuff on your face, like me. Little bonding going on out there. No, no, oh, I don't want you either. Some thought it was that hit. But that just robbed him of his vision. No, in the end, it was the turtles. They took Brad's nose. But Brad's okay and may attack another day. <laughs> Around this castle! We pick up Batman fan Jonathan on the slippery slope. Are you scared? Are you scared? He should be. Oh! Oh! That is gonna leave a mark for generations. Oh! But, you know, Jonathan seems to have recovered. Or not. Aye. Well, they do say the knees are the first things to go. Jonathan goes down. But Splatman returns for some more punishment. I hope he's wearing Kevlar. And he goes down. Scab is putting on a clinic out there. Oh, another hit. Na 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 Splatman! Splatman! Quick feet on the rolling mace. It's our next attacker, Lori. So we go from Splatman to Catwoman. I'm gonna rock this course even in the rain. She'll need her cat-like reflexes today. Down the impossible incline. Ouch! She must have been declawed. Oh, watch out for that axe. Yeah, feeling stinky? Here comes stinky. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. And that doesn't look good. Scab score goes up. Oh, not as easy as it seems. Cats hate water. And cannons. Hey, that's like a giant scratching pose. One that scratches back and front. Catwoman Lori claws her way into the competition, and Splatman is just hanging on. I think I can do it! 
Next up is Jamie. Jamie says he's representing comedians everywhere. Oh, he should work on his stand-up. Well, he must be a prop comic. Here comes his second set. I'm scabbed. Are you scared? <laughs> wow, tough crowd. Hey, what's red and green and splats all over? Um, Jamie? Jamie. And with that splat, Jamie will not finish. I guess he got the hook. Yeah! A book! You book! A book! We're all very pumped for Clayton. Clayton does voices, noises, and impressions. Here's his impression of slipping. And here's his impression of splatting. Very good, yet surprisingly similar. Clayton thinks he's fast. Clayton! You think you're fast? You think you're good? <laughs> yeah! Show him how good you are, Scab. Clayton's like a sitting duck out there. And he gets shot and skewered. A devastating combination. There's the spike. And there's the snipe. A farewell to arms. Are you pumped? I'm pumped! Take that! <laughs> You've got to admire Clayton's courage for continuing with very limited use of those hands. Oh, Scab tags him with a Portuguese backpack, taking his score to 13. Not as easy as it seems, is it, my boy? Oh, the hands! His Achilles heels. But he sticks it. Can he make the final climb? So weak and awkward. Well, yeah. But Clayton does make it with a scorching time of 2.12 to boot. With six attackers through, let's check out the leaderboard. If we have to. Clayton and Laurie sit up top at 6.35 while Jonathan has the time to beat. But when we return, six new attackers put their strength, speed, and splasticity to the test right here on Splat -a -Lot. If we have to. Welcome back to Splat -a -Lot. I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm Matt Chin. Our first half of round one was filled with furious action and some fearless times. We also saw our share of super splats and the red hot scab annihilating anything that moves with a splat zooka. Our leaderboard shows Jonathan has the time to beat at 635. And Jamie's being eliminated with a DNR. I, I, I think you mean DNF. It's not the same thing? No. Let's get right back to the action. I'm on TV! You sure are. So don't do anything stupid. Oh, well, I think he was just starstruck there. Can you blame him? It's Scab. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, what's happening on the Aaron show? I don't watch it anymore. Why? He jumped the shark. <laughs> hey! Get him, Nitrous! Go, Nitrous! Previously on The Aaron Show. Aaron is torn, literally. That happened to my aunt once. Don't you mean your uncle? Not anymore. hey -o! And here's Aaron to his vault of victory. Sort of. Well, he's trying. Come on. Any day. Well worth the wait. And with a 423, The Aaron Show should get picked up for round two. Here comes Rachel. Sorry, where? She's right there. I can't. In the pink vest. Where? Pink helmet, too. Oh. Ah! Are you scared? Yeah. Uh, nah, nah. Oh, oh, right in the knee. And Scab picks up right where he left off. Look at that tally. Climbing into the hundreds. That's called Scab Splat. But as for Rachel, she will not advance. And bye bye. Someone better get a lifeguard because I'm a fucking Hi, Laurel. Is that French? Yeah. I speak French. Ouch! That's a French connection. I'm going to blast you with my uh, weapon! Le Mace Roll trips up Laurel and a direct hit. Oh, ho, ho. it's like the Battle of Hastings out there. More like the Battle of Pastings. Yikes. Big splat. Whoa, no, 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 no. Stop! He's getting away! If that was getting away, he should have stayed put. Oh, Laurel, watch out for the axe! <laughs> we gotta sharpen those. I think he thinks he's better than you, Nitro. Right there! Laurent likes to play Karate Kid in the shower. Will he wax on or wax off? And he is on with a great time of 331. <gasps> Where were those moves when he was on the course? Oh, yeah, break it down. Oh, fast! We join Sophie on the slippery slope. He should be very scared. He's on scared! I'm not scared of you. Oh, I'm not scared of you. 
Oh, another direct hit. Oh, I am losing track of all of Scab's splats today. Well, Jay, let me help you out by taking a moment to celebrate some of Scab's greatest splats. There was the Melon Pelter, the Knee Capper, the French Heckler, <laughs> the Russian Omelet, the German Handshake, the Pinocchio, and Geppetto. I'm going to blast you with my uh, weapon. And who could forget? Le Splat, the Triumph. I'm gonna blow this box in! Up next, Carolyn. Ouch, that scab finding his mark again. Carolyn makes short work of the rolling mace. Oh, scab hits her leg. Look at her fly. Reminds me of me when I was a girl. And her other leg. Here we go, Carly. <laughs> she cruises across the bridge. Damn, scab's a sniper. Oh, Scab continues to work the legs. Nitrous relentless on the cannon. And can she make it? Yes, she is on the finish platform with an incredible time of 1.45. Spylon, I'm going to conquer your castle. Our final attacker, Kiana, is an accomplished figure skater. So she expected the water to be frozen? I give her a 6.1 for style. Kiana! Do you think you can take on Nitrous? Good answer! Oh. oh, Scab lands another helmet heater, taking his score into the stratosphere. Speaking of stratosphere, Key's getting pretty high there. Maybe she wants to touch a rainbow. Or face plant into a platform. That was incredible. It's like she thought it was a carrot cake and tried to take a bite. I give her a 10 for tenderized. Splat! But it's not enough to put Kiana through. So after a full round of triumph and splatastrophe, six attackers will be moving on to round two. And six will pack their bags and be catapulted home. We have a catapult? It's a mid-size, but roomy. Hmm. Our advancing attackers are Carolyn, Clayton, Lori, Laurent, Lizzie, and Aaron. You won't want to miss all the exciting action coming up as they strive to survive and possibly become the next king or queen of the Splatalot Kingdom.